and we're going to water these these cuttings or these crowns. And like I said, if you use a dry fertilizer or you use a a, a strong dose of fertilizer, you'll burn off the fine feeder roots that it's going to take for this plant to establish itself. If you don't kill it, you'll retard the ability of the plant to establish itself and it'll just take longer for it to, uh, to thrive. But uh, these things are going to need to be watered and kept moist, uh, probably more so than most anything that you'll plant because they already are a root system that has been compromised at least, ripped loose from its established setting and trying to establish itself in some new soil. So you'll probably want to water this a little more and fertilization will be a good thing for this. Although you don't want to, like anything, you don't want to keep it standing in water and you don't want to put so much fertilizer on it that the plant can't absorb it. There, you know, there's too much of a good thing. If a little's good, then a lot's got to be better is not really true when it comes to fertilizer.